Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for August the 14th, read by Kirsty S. from the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. AA Thoughts for the Day Hangovers When a drunk has a terrific hangover because he drank heavily yesterday, he cannot live well today. But there is another kind of hangover which we all experience whether we are drinking or not. That is the emotional hangover, the direct result of yesterday's and sometimes today's excesses of negative emotion, anger, fear, jealousy and the like. If we would live serenely today and tomorrow, we certainly need to eliminate these hangovers. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 88 Thought to Consider I'd rather be better than bitter. Acronyms AA Altered Attitudes Just for Today Joker in the Glass Chapter 23 His Prescriptions for Sobriety You know, Dan, he, Dr Bob, told me, Many people coming into AA get the wrong conception of easy does it, and I hope you don't. It doesn't mean that you sit on your fanny, stay home from meetings and let other people work the programme for you. It doesn't mean you have an easy life without drinking. Easy does it means you take it a day at a time. He told me that before I could be honest with him or my sponsor or anyone else. I had to get honest with that joker in the glass. I didn't know what he meant by that joker in the glass. He told me that was the man in the looking glass. When you shave tomorrow, get honest with the man who looks back at you from the looking glass. Dr. Bob and the Good Old Timers, page 282. Daily Reflections, Repairing the Damage We attempt to sweep away the debris which has accumulated out of our effort to live on self-will and run the show ourselves. If we haven't the will to do this, we ask until it comes. Remember, It was agreed at the beginning we would go to any lengths for victory over alcohol. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 76 Making a list of people I had harmed was not a particularly difficult thing to do. They had showed up in my fourth step inventory, people towards whom I had resentments, real or imagined, and whom I had hurt by acts of retaliation. For my recovery to be thorough, I believed it was not important for those who had legitimately harmed me to make amends to me. What is important in my relationship with God is that I stand before him, knowing I have done what I can to repair the damage I have done. As Bill sees it, humility for the fellowship, too. We of AA sometimes brag of the virtues of our fellowship. Let us remember that few of these are actually earned virtues. We were forced into them, to begin with, by the cruel lash of alcoholism. We finally adopted them, not because we wished to, because we had to. Then, as time confirmed the seeming rightness of our basic principles, we began to conform because it was right to do so. Some of us, notably myself, conformed even then with reluctance. But at last we came to a point where we stood willing to conform gladly to the principles which experience under the grace of God had taught us. AA Comes of Age, page 224. Big Book Quote Let no alcoholic say he cannot recover unless he has his family back. His recovery is not dependent upon people. It is dependent upon his relationship with God, however he may define him. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 99, page 100. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. None of us like to think that we are bodily and mentally different from others. Our drinking careers have been characterised by countless vain attempts to prove that we could drink like other people. This delusion that we are like other people has to be smashed. It has been definitely proved that no real alcoholic has ever recovered control. Over any considerable period we get worse, never better. There is no such thing as making a normal drinker out of an alcoholic. Am I convinced that I can never drink again normally? Meditation for the day We should have life and have it more abundantly. Spiritual, mental, physical, abundant life. Joyous, powerful life. This we can have if we follow the right way. Not all people will accept from God the gift of an abundant life. 
a gift held out free to all. Not all people care to stretch out a hand and take it. God's gift, the richest he has to offer, is the precious gift of an abundant life. People often turn away from it, reject it and will have none of it. Do not let this be true of you. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may hasten to accept the gift of abundant spiritual life. I pray that I may live the good life to the best of my ability. Hazelden Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. My name is Kirsty, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.